This interview will be for my human growth and development class, and I have Yolanda Hamilton here, also my mother. I'm going to ask a couple questions, and here's the first question. Uh, what is your age? 57. 57. Um, what are the visible signs of aging, aging that you have noticed that are happening at this time in your life? Probably slower thinking and uh, not easily making decisions as well as forgetting things. Okay. And then uh, for the third question, does your family have any uh, heredity heart problems, cancer, hypertension, or um, any cause of diabetes? Uh, we have cancer uh, and diabetes. Diabetes, okay. Mm -hmm. And then for the next question, since entering this stage of life, have you noticed any um, intellectual decline in how you make decisions or remembering things? Yes. Well, uh, uh, as far as decisions, it's a lot slower. When you're younger, I think you may, you make rapid and quick decisions, not thinking through it. And as you, you get older, the thought process of how your decision will impact something or your family just takes a lot longer. So it just takes me longer to make decisions. Okay. And then... Um, I think the second part of that question was um, remembering things. Correct. Yes. Have you ever did, had a decline in making decisions and also remembering things? So that yeah, the decline in the making decisions is that I don't make the decisions fast, rapidly, or rapidly like I used to, okay. uh, because when you're younger, you just quickly go with your gut feeling instead of thinking of the ramifications of what that decision is going to be. And then um, the decline in remembering things, I think, just comes probably with age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then for the next question, um, how have your relationships changed with others since entering this stage of life? Coworkers, children, uh, people around you, just etc. I mm -hmm. think you you become more, in my case, more patient and more understanding. Um, I think when you're younger, I think you, you, you tend to, um, probably not be as patient with people. And, mm -hmm. and I think as you get older, you start to be a little bit more understanding and more sympathetic mm -hmm. to maybe what may be happening in their lives. Okay. Yeah, I feel like when you're younger, you try and rush through at the time, not give as much care for right. other people around you. Right. right. And for the next question, what is your career at the time? Currently, um, well, I retired, but then I ended up opening um, my own business. So we, I, I have a bakery, and it's a franchise. So um, I kind of I operate it. I do have managers and leads that help support most of the work, but um, I kind of oversee the okay. overall. What is this name of the company that you? It's own? called Nothing Bun Cakes. It's a franchise. Okay. How long is the one? You've been opened here in, where We've is been, it at? Yeah, it's in Wichita. We've been open for four years. And again, I opened it after I retired from my banking career. I worked for a bank for 33 years and retired and wanted to do something different. So I um, opened a franchise. I felt it was a little bit safer to do a franchise versus on my own. Mm -hmm. And so it's been four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on to the, to the next question, what lifestyle choices have you had a, a strong impact on, on your health status? Reading from, rather than being retired to opening the bakery to just be up and more moving? Or... Yeah, I think continuously doing improvements, either whether it's my health, my physical, or my mental, it's continuing to keep that stimulated and not just because I retired, just sit around and do mm -hmm. anything but I think constantly trying to figure out how do you how to improve yourself how to improve your family and just continue to grow from an ed educational standpoint to just a growth overall growth okay yeah. and then for the last question I have do you predict or uh, or have felt that you have a have had a midlife crisis at all like is that from I, after retiring, maybe, or just... 
midlife crisis only happens to men, but, <laughs> but no, I, I don't think necessarily a midlife crisis. I think maybe a change in career or it may be just more independent and being more self-employed and more decision-making on myself and um, my career goals as well as financial goals, having more independence on that. I mean, if we call that a midlife crisis or maybe a change in the way of thinking, but um, hopefully it's been for the better. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is the last question I have for you. Thank you for your uh, participation in this interview, okay. and thank you for letting me interview you. You're welcome.